As a hobby, I have pursued collecting what I think is the, is the cleanest, simplest, and, and most authentic expression of who we are as a people. Ken Burns began collecting quilts in the early 1970s. This exhibit marks the first time he's publicly shared his quilts. There are 28 on display, along with quotes from Burns about his profound connection to quilts. This 1918 Red Cross quilt was made by the Williamsport Grange to raise money for the Red Cross during the First World War. There's something incredibly poignant and beautiful that the flag exists in a sea of crosses, which both represents all of the help that is being given, but also represents the loss of it. The letters NRA on this quilt stand for the National Recovery Administration, a government program created during the Great Depression by President Franklin Roosevelt. The president's initials are embroidered at the top, and the year the Recovery Act was passed is stitched at the bottom. The eagle was an emblem American companies displayed to show their compliance with the Recovery Act. On the floor display is a quilt called the Star of Temperance. It's a rare and important quilt as it states the virtues of the temperance movement, love, purity, and fidelity. This quilt also demonstrates how women used fabric to express their voice. The dye used to color the stars has weakened the fabric over time, leaving holes in the material. Because of its fragile state, this quilt is displayed on a platform. Ken Burns collects only hand-sewn quilts, and the ones featured in the gallery date from the 1850s to the 1940s. This mint condition triple Irish chain was a wedding gift from a mother to her son in 1890. The original wedding license was included with the quilt when Burns acquired it. It may be surprising to learn that Burns isn't interested in the provenance of a quilt, but if there is a history connected to one that he acquires, he does record it. Occasionally, Burns will acquire a quilt that goes against his color palette of red, white, and blue. This quilt is called New York Beauty and features a blend of the colors yellow, red, and blue. If you just isolated what's happening there, it's just, it's great. Anchored by these diamonds, anchored by these stars. There's something ferocious about this and also something really lovely. The work of a master seamstress can be seen in this piece from the 1860s called the Sunburst Quilt. Featuring a variety of materials and soft hues, the diamond-shaped blocks are cut and sewn on the fabric bias. The near-perfect intersection of every point draws your eye inward to the 16-point star in the quilt's center. Accuracy in aligning the diamonds is the mark of a master quilt maker. In many ways, the quilts Ken Burns collects reflect his work as America's storyteller, skillfully crafted in patriotic colors, created in painstaking detail over an extended period of time. <laughs>